The last few verses were covered a little out of sequence in the previous video I covered verse 849 and in the video prior to that it was verses 848 and 850 but now we're back in sequence with verse 851 the ego soul is not and the mind is born how does this evolving come about is it not said that its appearing is like a river a lamp and a seed back in 847 we're told that the first avenue of practice is to examine into the nature of an ego soul and keep oneself away from attachment and what does this mean exactly? well attachment seems obvious but it's really about observing where the attention goes and what the attention identifies with whatever the attention is up to that is what we are at that particular moment that is the ego soul you could take this further and practice Ramana Maharishi's inquiry who am I? And this isn't a question that you answer. It's a question that is pointing to realization. But I won't go into that now. I've covered that in previous videos in different series. 851 is about the attention the attention that is flitting around and identifying with whatever it attends to whether it's something in the so-called external world but more commonly with something that we would describe as inner as something part of our inner world it might be a heart that we nurse we keep replaying certain scenarios whereby we've been hard done by that's what the attention is identifying with or we might be identifying with plans of the future or we might be identifying with a particular self-image about what sort of person we are successful I've got it all. I've done well for myself. Everybody will look up to me and be impressed. And there are infinite variations on these themes. So this, this is what the ego soul is. It is simply nothing more than the moving attention and there's usually a pattern to it there's a pattern to this moving attention there's a pattern there are certain things it dwells on more than others so this is the situation this is something you can see for yourself I'm not giving you a theoretical understanding here Whatever your attention is on is your reality at that particular moment. Once you realize this, once you see this for yourself, it opens up some interesting possibilities. But that's not what this verse is about. This verse is actually just asking a question is, well, how does this situation come about how come we've got this attention flitting around all over the place getting caught up in certain patterns 
like patterns on a river, little eddies, little vortices. The river gets locked into little vortices. And this is like consciousness. So is it not said that it's appearing as like a river, a lamp, a seed? Now I suspect these are referring to particular teachings, and they're not teachings whose reference I'm familiar with. But we can make this work for ourselves. There's only consciousness going on, and consciousness is doing things and it wills in on itself and this is the mind this is when the mind is born and the other two items listed are a lamp and a seed so when the attention is willing in on itself what's happening is there's lots of stuff going on there's lots of stuff going on and something is prominent for whatever reason something attracts the attention it might be something that is a danger to our continued survival or something which is advantageous to our continued survival and this is the seed this is the seed which generates patterns so why do we have a particular vortex in a particular place there'll be a certain seed that triggered it it's like seeing a lamp in the darkness something stands out the lamp stands out in the darkness there'll be a particular pattern a particular sequence which stands out from the rest the attention focuses on it and this is the seed for the psychophysical organism that consciousness then identifies with so the message here is not to get into some theoretical understanding but to look at what the attention is doing at any moment especially if you do formal meditation you can practice this you can backtrack how did the attention get here and there's usually a not particularly long sequence of prior identifications which took the attention to a particular place So it's an interesting question, quite a useful question to ask, which is really what this verse is about, is how did the attention get here? Is it where we intended the attention to be? You might have intended to listen to this video and to tune in to the spirit of the verse that is hopefully being communicated here but then your attention is somewhere else perhaps it's noticed my shirt I'm wearing white today and maybe you might be thinking I usually wear black and then you might start thinking about what you're going to wear yourself to this social event later on today and so on so on this is the attention it's like the hypnagogic flow as we drift off to sleep as we drift off to sleep there's this flow of images and eventually like a lamp in the darkness our attention gets hooked into one of these and it sweeps us off into the 
dream of sleep. So we can do this whether we're formally meditating or not. It's a special kind of mindfulness, mindfulness of the attention, being mindful of what the attention is doing, being mindful of what we intend the intention to do, and being mindful of why it's not doing that. <laughs> 